Hey what's up everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how you can pair your Xbox One controller to your iPhone or your iPad um, because of the new feature uh, in iOS 13. So your device does need to be running iOS 13 or later, so if you have the public beta right now or the developer beta right now, you're good to go. Uh, if you don't like betas and you're not going to update to the beta, you're going to have to wait until fall of 2019 in order to do this. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. It's basically the same process as connecting a PS4 controller. Um, but there are a few exceptions when it comes to Xbox. So go into the settings, go to Bluetooth, and we're going to need to turn the Xbox controller on. And then hold down the pair button just like you would on an Xbox. So just hold that down until it starts flashing. It'll come up under Bluetooth devices. Go ahead and select it. And there we go. It's connected. Uh, no problems at all. Now. A couple things. Uh, if your device connects initially but then disconnects and you can't get it to connect at all, go ahead and plug your controller into either an Xbox One or a computer uh, running Windows and you need to download like Xbox accessories or some kind of app like that from the uh, marketplace or the Windows Store uh, and then go ahead and update your controller to the latest firmware. Once you update you shouldn't have any problems. Now there is uh, a requirement specifically for the controller you do need to be, or you do need to have uh, model number 1708. So if you take the top battery out, uh, it should say the model number right here, 1708. Um, this is the controller that comes with the Xbox One S, so the the version that's on the market right now, I believe, um, and the one that has the headphone jack at the bottom. So as long as you have that uh, and the firmware's updated you should be good to go. Let's go ahead and reconnect uh, and let's go ahead and test out some games. So one that everyone seems to love, Fortnite, let's go ahead and test that out. Alright, so Fortnite's loaded up. Um, the trigger buttons work exactly like they would on the console itself. Uh, you can go through using the d-pad, select things like that. Um, let's see, uh, choose your game mode by pressing the X button just like you would. Press Y to go ahead and start a game. Um, oops, I don't want to play duos. So even in the menu screens, all of the uh, controls are kind of listed out as they would be on a console itself. Uh, so you know, you had the, the Y button next to finding a game. You had the X button next to uh, changing the mode. It, it tells you what controls you need to press in order to do the action that you want. All right, so something that seems to be happening a lot with Fortnite on iOS 13, um, I'm guessing it's just because it's a beta, um, but it seems to not want to load past that little tick mark. Um, so we'll try it up again, and I'm guessing it'll load this time. All right, so we're just going to jump straight into the game, I guess. Um, oh, my cat's in the way, but basically all the controls seem the same. Uh, the menu button acts the same. Let's see. All right, right on the D-pad brings up the map. Um, I don't think this controller is in the best condition, but it does seem to be working pretty well and kind of as expected. There's no really noticeable delay between input Something like this, I feel like, definitely gives you a huge advantage, especially playing on mobile, um, where everyone else is just using a touch screen. You actually have a physical controller. It seems almost unfair that uh, that you're able to do this, but everything seems pretty good. Uh, just some of the controls might be a little different compared to how they would be on console. Uh, I found that out using a PS4 controller. Um, Oh. Okay. This controller is not in the best condition. It's not even letting me. There we go. B. 
yeah, very similar to uh, on a console. Um, is it, I mean, just grab a controller, pair it, and you can play just like you would, um, except you're on mobile, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but that's it for this video. If you want to check out how to do this with a PS4's DualShock 4 controller, uh, I have a video on my channel on how to do that. Make sure to check that out. Um, otherwise, you know, definitely a, a nice way to improve any kind of gaming experience on a mobile device, whether you're playing Fortnite or uh, Minecraft or like a racing game or something. You know, a controller is definitely a lot easier to use than a touch screen, and it definitely improves the mobile gaming experience, uh, if you ask me. So. That's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.